feeling like this big old bucket and people are sending them deals from all over the country and, and all different types of deals. And they, they have a land deal, they have an apartment deal. They have, you know, they have deals sort of all over the place. And, and I find that it really sort of, you know, diminishes their ability to actually get to the finish line on these deals. What do you think, do you think we should be focusing on something in particular and become an expert at something and then move to something else? Or, you know, what, what is your thinking on, on really being able to solidify at least your business model so that you can, you know, get, get an anchor in this thing? Does a carpenter, does it, when a carpenter goes to a job, do they just take a screwdriver on their belt or a hammer, a tape measure, a chisel, a uh, well, pliers, things like that. Does, do experts, do people take multiple tools to a, to a, to a business? Yeah. 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 We've got to be versatile enough. You know, you can be a one trick pony, mm -hmm. but I think in real estate, I, I, I believe in price terms, consultation or practice. Okay. okay. Can I get a price? It's a hundred thousand. I can get it for 50,000 cash. And I've got a visa burning in my, with a cash advance burning in my hand. And I know it's a good, boom, it's a cash deal. I got someone who's motivated. When I say motivated, they're willing to give me terms. I can do a lease purchase, a subject to an owner finance, okay. something like, or they have hold a note, uh, something like that. So that's another way to do it. If they, if they're in Arkansas and I'm here in in the Soviet socialist state of Southern California. I, I, there's a lot of truth to that. Um, there's so much truth to that. <laughs> we're not going, well, we're not going there. Uh, and, uh, and they That's want another... information. You know, we get nice people on the phone with problems and they're yeah. going to all these gurus, but they don't get, get to the guru. They get to their VAs and stuff like that. We get somebody on the phone and we develop a rapport. Don't we love to get people to like us? We talk about it every week here. So yeah. if I get somebody who likes me, they respect my time and knowledge. Why don't I move to the consulting? That's my next package, by the way, I believe. How to monetize our time, knowledge, and energy. The things we're learning here today, all the experiences of this room, both good and bad. Can you monetize your time? I, I don't want to, that's a, I could do a webinar on that. So a lot of times I'd be a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Prosper. I'd be glad to help you. And I I'm sure Henry's going to talk a little bit about this too. Uh, when he gets to land, Henry, I didn't forget you. I'm sorry. No, um, I'm doing Claude. Our meetings at 8:45, but I'm on the call with Claude right now. So we can just do a meeting quick after. Okay. We muted her. Um, <laughs> sorry, Audrey. We, <laughs> we... Hey, Claude. So let me just finish my thought, David, um, so we can go into consulting. Um, and then, um, you know, there's, and then practice. How do we get good at talking to people? We're in the word business. The way we use our words, the way we ask questions, the way we get uh, persuade people are uh, using the right words all day long. How do we get good at it? Even when we have that sale where we know there's nothing there. Okay. Isn't it, is that a good place to practice with that person, the gut sales method, how to ask questions, how to stay unemotional, but make them emotional. So to me, I'm sorry, long-winded to a great question, Victor. Um, I think we have to be multifaceted uh, to do that. And without, uh, and David, real quick, because I'm- I, uh, I just wanted to say that whole adult conversation never would have happened if you had to sit there and break out a script book, because you'd be so worried about Oh, how do I answer that question? I got to flip to this section that you're you're missing the whole conversation, the opportunity to create a conversation. So I just wanted to point that out because you don't you don't waste your time with that. You ask the right questions and it turns into a conversation. We, we've got a room full of people here, 38 people. Do we need a script to talk today? We're all friends. We all want to help each other. We're, we're willing to exchange information. Do we have do we really need a throw away the script the script restricts you it it holds you back from making a connection everybody everybody always talks about how do you really get another person to like you to trust you you have to develop a rapport you have to use your words in the right way and a script won't do that for you uh, there's some parts of a script I'll, I'll acknowledge this i know there's certain things in scripts uh, that are locked in that are perfect answers but I don't want you to be dependent on something like that. I want you to listen and use a system of agenda, qualification, commitment to close, where you learn to ask those questions with redirection and everything else. Um, and before we spend, before we go.